Right. Hey, everybody, thank you so much for joining us. Um, Chris Oatmaker here, Bullseye Telecom, Friday, May 8th, noon Eastern. Yeehaw. Can't wait for this one to get done. So, um, hey, everybody, thank you for joining us here today. We're talking with uh, Mark Nolan, who's going to be joining us here in just a moment. Mark's been on the show here before. We are going to be uh, taking a quick peek at something that I'm a big fan of. Um, more so than many of the others that are out there. I'm sure Mark's going to get into a little bit of that. And we're going to talk about why we're not using it today, which I would have loved to have used it today, just based on uh, those that jumped on here about five minutes early could have attested to. But uh, <laughs> welcome to the Bullseye Happy Half Hour. Uh, quick thank you to all of our customers that are joining us here today. As I've always said and always believe that we wouldn't be here without you guys. So um, obviously we greatly appreciate it and I uh, hope everybody's doing well and staying safe out there. Um, so to just recap on what the happy half hour is, we do this every Friday at noon. It is a, a, a usually a pretty brief um, roll into, you know, what's going on either uh, industry stuff, uh, what's going on with, you know, maybe some new products that we're taking a look at, or maybe even things that we're, uh, we, we have launched. It's not going to be a bullseye promotion. It's not going to be commercials. We're not going to be sending you coupons to buy stuff. So um, hope you guys can, uh, you know, share this around with the people that are in your organization. Hopefully they'll get a couple good tips out of this and appreciate your feedback. We do have a, um, a little chat session. There's a place where you, everybody can uh, submit questions if you guys have any comments questions if you like my sweater whatever it is go ahead and just you know blow something in there and we'll uh, we'll try to get to uh, those before the end of the call here today um, i do want to just do a quick plug for uh, bullseye's linkedin we try to follow as many of our customers as as we know of um, and we ask that maybe you guys take a peek at our linkedin uh, profile as well we we don't do a lot of heavy promoting of just what's going on with Bullseye. We do talk about industry stuff. We talk about regulation. We talk about what's, uh, excuse me, what's going on from, um, you know, recent events in, in regards to communications and security. So give it a look, give it a follow, appreciate it. And um, we appreciate everybody joining the call here again today. So um, Mark, we're going to be talking about something, like I said, that's, uh, that's pretty near and dear to me here with uh, Microsoft Teams. And, there's a lot of different, you know, um, solutions that are out there today. I've always thought I was, uh, um, you and I are both I, I, uh, Apple people, right? So I like the yeah. creativity. <laughs> I like, I, all my, my parents are Apple people just because it's easy, it works. Um, I say that because I've never really gravitated towards Microsoft except, except for, you know, Word and Excel. But Teams is really cool. They've, they've released some, some cool stuff for, uh, you know, related to at home work that's going crazy right now in regards to putting cool backgrounds up and preferences and a lot of different things that we can do with that. So, Mark, I'm not going to take any more thunder what way you're going to be talking about. So why don't you kind of uh, walk us through what we're going to be talking about here today? Cool. Thanks, man. Um, so if I look down on this stuff, guys, if it looks like I'm looking down, my iPad's actually in my lap and that's what I'm reading this stuff off of because I don't actually have it in front of me on the laptop. Um, but Teams is basically, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a phone app. It's a messaging app. Um, we use it a ton. Um, I use it personally. I do things like I'll call people, um, you know, and you think, well, yeah, I can grab my cell phone for that or my desk phone if you even have one these days. Um, the problem that I've got with all that stuff, and, and I've been doing this for a long time, is, you know, I go to call somebody, I don't know what their number is anymore. I literally don't know a single phone number anymore these days. If, if your name's not in my cell phone, it's not, if it's not in my iPhone or it's not in Outlook for work, God, I have no idea what your phone number is or how to get in touch with you, okay? Um, I literally have to look them up every single time. Um, so that's why I use Teams a lot for work, because uh, everybody's in there. I don't have to go looking for them. I click on them, I click call, darn thing pops up on my laptop and the sucker just works. Same thing on the iPhone app of Teams. It works exactly the same. It's just quick and it's easy. Um, and I can get on with doing what I'm trying to get accomplished and not messing around with trying to figure out how to use an app. Uh, the other thing that I do a lot is I message people um, or text, as my, my daughter would say. Um, text, the uh, Teams has become for me 
literally what I use the most for texting back and forth through uh, for work. Like, you know, when I'm when I'm on my iPhone and I'm going to like my my wife, my daughter, you know, Nana, uh, my dad, you know, those kind of people. It's you just you text and you're right there. Right. You're just, you know, like this is my iPhone. I'm, you know, we're doing this all the time. And that's great. And we're very used to it. And at work, it's a little different because, you know, we don't always use the same cell phone number and contact for work that we do at home. So at work, you, you kind of want this thing where you can do work text, but in a work environment and Teams does that for us. Um, so it's quick messages. It's not, you know, nobody has to answer. You don't have to leave a voicemail. You just punch it out and send it. Um, and you can do more than one thing at once with it. So it's really nice. We use a ton of this stuff. The other thing that we do uh, besides call people and do messaging is we do a ton of meetings on this. Um, really too many meetings, if, if we're honest, right? It would be nice if it was harder to use and then fewer people would have meetings, but that's not how it is. It's so easy to use. We have a meeting to have a meeting these days, it seems like. Uh, and you guys probably do too, right? Um, the days when you would pop into a conference room to talk about something, right? Uh, especially if you're in sales, um, you know, everybody's forever like, you know, grabbing like three people, running over to the conference room, cup of coffee, maybe there's donuts in there on the table or something, right? And you sit down for 15 minutes and talk about whatever deal you're working on. That's pretty much normal for a lot of us. And obviously we can't do that anymore. So what we've replaced it uh, for me is Teams, um, simply because you can grab one person like, you know, invite them to a, to a, like a video call and then pull in two or three other people on the fly. You know, it's, it's easy. It's really simple. You can throw out a quick meeting invite if you want to schedule one and it, and it all comes to you. It's not like a thing where you've got to make a reservation and do all this other stuff. It's just really quick. Couple of clicks works like you think it should. Um, and then you're all there looking at each other which uh, yeah. kind of freaks me out. No, it's, uh, I, I'll echo that absolutely in regards to the, the ease of setting up a meeting with five people, an entire team of people, a distro list, whatever it is. If you've got your Outlook or whatever your, your email platform is, I mean, there's a quick, if, if you're using Microsoft um, services such as Outlook, there's an integration button and you just click, you know, this meeting will be in Teams and you just hit Teams and the link gets dropped in. Everybody one click the call. There's no picking up the phone. Like you said, bringing people in is super easy too. It's uh, you know kind of creepy in a way too, how, how quickly you can add five people into a call without having to send emails out. It, it, their, their computer just starts ringing right out, right out of the gate. So um, really big does. fan of, of that for us. It's just crazy easy. Um, so, some other stuff, right? Obviously, what about, and I put the insert name here because you know there, there's lots of other options. You've got Zoom, you've got FaceTime, you've got Google uh, Meet or Hangout or whatever it is this week, you know, they're calling it. Um, let's see, go to meeting that we're using right now, right? Um, why don't, what's wrong with those other ones? And the answer is nothing. There's nothing really wrong with them. They all work fine. Um, it comes down to, to me personally, what's easy to use and the right tool or right app for the job. Teams is super freaking easy. Um, we're using GoToMeeting right now, right? Um, and you know, obviously you guys are on it, so you know we're using it. You're probably going, ah, if Teams was so easy, why didn't you just use it? Well, we talked about it. Um, and the principal reason we're not on Teams right this minute talking to you guys is that Teams doesn't do as good a job about sending out invites as GoToMeeting does. GoToMeeting's got this whole framework for like mailing lists and registration and, and all this fancy stuff. And it's awesome at what it does for that. It does a fantastic job on the front end. Um, the tough part about GoToMeeting versus Teams though is GoToMeeting's a whole lot harder for me to use, trying to present. It's kind of clunky. Teams is a whole lot easier to use as a tool for like a presenter and a participant. But the front end where you send out the invites is not as 
robust, let's say, I guess yeah. is the right word, right? Um, and, and I'll add that, you know, I'm not, I, I'm not super technical, but I am the, the CTO of our household here. I'm, I'm probably the best person at iTunes and, uh, you know, navigating through all of our, our technical stuff here. But, um, you know, just as an example, and, and this isn't, you know, just meant to be a slam on other platforms, but we've been using, you know, go to training here for about six weeks now for these happy half hours. And Mark, you know, I dropped you at 11.59 and it yeah, took us, yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, but it is pretty, it works well with, like you said, registering people for, for, uh, for training, being able to, to deliver, you know, the video content after the training's been, you know, uh, recorded and we send you a link afterwards. So everything has its place. Um, this, um, you know, the, the team's just isn't quite there yet for specifically for training, you know, a, a big group of people and fielding questions and delivering recorded calls. But um, yeah, go ahead, Mark. You know, if, if you're having, like, if you have a, like, we have sales teams, right? Um, and for us, you know, all the sales teams have like a Friday morning meeting across the world, right? It's like the thing you do if you're in sales. Um, just like you have the Monday morning meeting. You know, you start out every week. Um, Teams is great for that type of thing. Lots of interaction back and forth. Everybody can talk. Everybody can see each other. It's just like being in the same room. It is fantastic for that sort of stuff. It's so easy. Everybody just kind of, there's no instructions needed. You see the little buttons there and it's obvious, right? Calendar, meet, chat, call. It's just does what it says. Um, the last thing that's really significant about teams, though, is it, you've already got the darn thing properly. Um, you know, it's kind of funny. When we all started working from home here a couple of months ago, we had this email go out and they're like, hey, you know, teams, everybody's got it. And they're like, really? I just heard about that. And, you know, everybody looks around and goes, yeah, we've had it for like two years. It, it came with Office 365. It's been sitting around. Nobody's been using it. Um, which was odd, but very, very true because people do things out of habit. Um, you know, once you get used to using one certain thing, whether it's GoToMeeting or Zoom or, you know, your cell phone client or FaceTime or whatever, um, you know, that's what you stick to because you don't want to take the time to figure out something else that sort of kind of works. You know, look, I have a busy enough day. I'm trying to get something done. I don't really want to be learning a new app every time I go to do something. Um, and Teams, unfortunately, is not like that. It really is super easy, but it is included with Office 365, which if you work in America, I mean, IT people, they love Microsoft. They love their laptops. So that sucker is going to be in the hands of just darn near everybody you interact with at work, whether they realize it or not. Um, so it is ubiquitous, you know, it's out there. It's not some special app. Everybody's got to go download that they don't have and all that jazz. It's already there. That's part of the hurdle for a lot of stuff. So some ideas here, um, trying to, you know, not take up all your morning here. A couple of ideas, things that you might not know it does. Uh, collaboration. And when I say collaboration, what I mean is working on the same document. So let's say we're in sales. That's what we do. You know, we look at contracts and we look at proposals and crap like that and spreadsheets all the time. Um, and normally what everybody does, including us, a lot of the time, even though we've got this tool, is, you know, somebody will make a spreadsheet and then they'll email it to somebody else. And they'll look at that each spreadsheet and they'll email it back to you and then back and forth. And that's our idea of collaboration a lot of days. And that works. But it really is clunky. I mean, it's one step short of like faxing each other a piece of paper, right? Um, so what Teams will let you do is actually kind of post this spreadsheet or whatever it is you're working on onto a Teams space. And then people that you let in, that you invite to work on it, can make changes to it. And you guys, it's just like you're standing in the same conference room scribbling on a board or something, right? Um, it seems like a little thing, very, very like, you know, eh, whatever, yeah, we get by, but it really is faster. And what you get is this real time collaboration, real time input from people, and you can talk, see each other, and work on this sucker at the same time. 
it actually saves time if you are willing to give it a shot. Uh, yeah. they, they spend a half a day emailing crap to each other. And yeah, I was just going to say, you know, an, an, an example of something that we, we use it for, um, you know, Google Docs has been around for a long time. So yeah. if you guys have used, used that, uh, it's pretty cool. You know, you see the initials over the, the cell that somebody's actually populating. But if you got something like a document that you need five people to input their stuff on instead of mailing it around, just, you know, blow it out through Teams and everybody's updating it and boom, done. Um, you're, you know, you're able to pull the, the final product in a matter of minutes. Um, that is that is pretty slick. It works just like the uh, the Google Docs uh, piece did a couple of years ago. It's uh, it, it is very helpful for collaborating. Um, the other thing in the same vein is a digital whiteboard. Um, you guys, I'm sure, are used to you know everybody like like I said earlier. Everybody goes in sales. You have the little ad hoc sales meeting over a deal, right? And invariably, you go in there with your cup of coffee into the little conference room. Um, she's usually got glass walls, right? Um, and there's a whiteboard in there or you write on the glass, right? Uh, and somebody always goes to the board and they write out and draw a big bunch of circles and stuff, you know, when they're trying to explain what they're talking about. Um, we can't do that right now. And we're used to it. And we're so used to it that it becomes difficult for us to explain stuff otherwise. So there's this neat feature in Teams that actually does have a digital whiteboard. Um, and you might think at first, well, that's a little clunky. You know, I've got a mouse, I've got all this other stuff. Um, it takes a little practice, but it works with a mouse. The other thing it works with is iPads. Um, like I use an iPad Pro, I've got, you know, right there, and an Apple Pencil and stuff. And if if we were on Teams right now, for example, I know we're not, but, you know, I could be talking to you guys, doing this presentation off my laptop pull up my iPad with a digital whiteboard, write on it with my pencil, and you guys would see it just like we're in the same room on a um, physical whiteboard, okay? Here again, it seems kind of, you know, so what, right? We're, everybody's gonna go back to the office eventually, blah, blah, blah. Reality is we may or we may not. Um, but beyond that part, in order to use a normal whiteboard and all these other things that you're used to, um, you all had to be in the same room physically, right? Um, we today talk to people from all across the, the country, time, you know, one time zone to another, coast to coast. We're never in the same room, ever. Um, and so we can't really let that stop us from getting work done, from getting something accomplished. And these tools make that possible, okay? Um, each little thing, little, little things make big differences. This digital whiteboard thing is really awesome for doing that sort of stuff because it's really easy to, you know, to get some understanding across when you can draw some stuff on a whiteboard, show people exactly what you're talking about because I'm, some days I'm just too dumb to be able to get it out, what I'm trying to communicate, right? The words just don't go like I mean them to, but a picture will. Um, and so, you know, the, the digital whiteboard stuff helps me overcome me being dumb some days. It is what it comes down to. And we're kind of running short on time, but I just want to throw those three, a uh, couple things, collaboration, whiteboard. The other thing's video. Um, you know, we're doing video now. We do these things every week, these webinar things, right? Um, and that's great. It's cool. One of the things that not a lot of people realize is you can record this stuff. Things makes it really easy even to do a solo one, right? You don't have to have a whole bunch of people watching you. You can just do you as a solo meeting and capture the video. And you can still do the presentation. You can do uh, like, you know, look at my desktop where you're moving the mouse and highlighting stuff. Uh, you can do the whiteboard. You can do all that stuff and record it as a video. And then you can share that video with just not near anybody, you put it on YouTube, you can share it internally on the uh, intranet, whatever you wanna do. And so you guys are probably sitting there going, okay, yeah, so what, big deal. Well, here's where it might be kind of cool. You ever try to explain somebody how to use like a new tool at work, um, a portal, uh, like an you know, account management thing, a sales thing, uh, ever try to show somebody how to do Salesforce? or something like it, right? Um, 
those things suck to try to explain to somebody what to do or how to do it. You know, how to get into your benefits page and do the stuff for HR at the end of the year, right? In November when we got that open enrollment stuff. How to sign up for your 401k, all that crap. All of that stuff is very, very repetitive. And if you've done it before, it's easy. If you're new, it doesn't make any sense. And outside of work, we're very much to, used to going to YouTube, looking at a video, and within like five minutes, I can go disassemble and reassemble a lawnmower that I've never seen before, right? And you know, I'll have like YouTube up there on my iPad while I'm doing the darn thing. And it's, I'm just pausing. And so this will, Teams will let you do the exact same thing for work if you want to. You don't have to have a production studio and all this stuff. You just flip open your laptop, turn on Teams, pull up your page, do your stuff, highlight it, record it. You've got a video. It could not be any easier. Um, and while you may not do that, some people will. And we just kind of want to highlight something that we use it for that we haven't seen other people do. Um, so three things, right? Besides the normal, besides phone calls, besides messaging, uh, besides meetings, you've got collaboration, whiteboards, and video. It's kind of neat, we thought. Um, yeah, you know what I what I use also? Uh, I, I was just going to add that uh, another cool feature on there, and there's a lot of them, guys uh, and, and, and ladies out there, um, but it's the transcribe. So it'll actually capture who's saying what and oh, what yeah. they're saying. Um, so if you wanted a capture of, you know, a conversation, it, you'd be able to, to pull that back and say, who said what, you know, like you're uh, in court or, or you know, being transcribed all the way through. But it is, it's a pretty cool feature to have as well. It's, it's surprising so. and everything is, is new. There, there's stuff that pops up just all the time. Um, the, Microsoft is really doing a bang up job on this. Um, they're working on it very hard. They're making constant improvements. Um, you know, to look at this thing, you'd swear Microsoft didn't make it. It looks like it came, to me, it looks like it came out of Apple. Um, really? It really does work. It's probably the best thing they've done for a while. Um, and all your IP people like it because it's Microsoft, right? It's not like you've got to get a blessing to be able to use the thing. Um, and and I, I was just going to say, um, I, you know, we're coming up to the uh, to the end of the uh, happy half hour here, but. Um, We've got a lot of creative solutions in regards to implementations for existing customers. Um, there's some of you that are on this call that we're working on some um, very interesting solutions for unique scenarios. Um, and there's going to be a lot of that that's going on. You want phones, you don't want phones. Um, you want everything coming out through, you know, SIP trunks. You want uh, to turn up, you know, part-time locations. Um, you want mobile workforce, whatever it might be. But what I would encourage everybody to do is everybody has a dedicated client relationship manager that's uh, on this call. So please reach out to your CRMs. They'll get in touch. Mark, you might be joining us on those calls. You have a couple colleagues that have joined us on these happy half hours that might be joining as well. But we'll work with the engineering teams. We're actually working also with account managers over at, um, or uh, excuse me, solution engineers over at Microsoft in regards to specific you know requirements. So there's um, there's a lot of evolution going on with this product and, and it fits a lot of different unique ways that people are communicating whether it's through voice chat video um, screen sharing and, and other collaboration elements so um, i just encourage everybody to to reach out to their their crms on this uh, mark nolan anything you have from uh closing remarks that's it thanks very much guys hope you guys have a good friday yeah thanks everybody for joining us and uh, have a great weekend take care Bye-bye.